Hi, in this video we're going to look at how to draw a polygon in GeoGebra and then use the measuring tools to measure the interior angles as well as the exterior angles. So drawing the polygon, pretty easy. I'm going to draw a quadrilateral. The first thing that you want to do is make sure you have the right tool set. So we go to the polygon tool and since I'm drawing a four-sided figure, a quadrilateral, I'm going to click four points. So one, two, three, four, and then after that I have to click one more time to close my polygon. So I'm going to where I started. All right, so now let's measure our interior angles. Now the first thing, sorry about the noise, the first thing that I want you to remember about measuring an interior angle is that you always want to measure in a, the counterclockwise direction. So we are going to go to the angle measure tool is the first option here and then if I want to measure this angle here I go counterclockwise from this line segment to this line segment and it measures that angle for us and we can go ahead and measure the other angles now here counterclockwise is this direction so we go from here to here and let's look at what happens if we actually do it clockwise. So if we try to measure it clockwise, that would happen. Not the biggest deal in the world, because we can then just press Command Z or Edit Undo, and it you know erases it for you. You can try again the other direction. All right. So now we have all of our angles measured, and that's the interior angles but the exterior angles are a little trickier and there's some things that I might have to show you to work around any problems all right so an exterior angle is an angle between an extended side of our polygon and an adjacent side so let's do let's extend this side and I'll show you what I mean all right so we need a line because of course a line is infinite through this point and this point so what we've just done is extended this side an exterior angle as I just said is the angle between that extended side and an adjacent side so it's this angle right here that is what we're referring to right now okay so in order to measure this angle we go back to the angle measure tool and we're still working counterclockwise and we hope this works but it doesn't it does something funky and weird so I'm gonna undo that I'm gonna go ahead and move this these angles in because they're kind of getting in the way and then I will show you a workaround for the problem we were just having ah there we go all right so when I'll do it again I'll show you what the issue is when I try to measure this exterior angle here, my computer didn't understand what I meant. It thought that I meant this part of the line when I really meant this part of the line. So the workaround is to actually draw a line segment over the line if that happens. So I'm going to go ahead. I need a point. I'm going to go ahead and draw a line segment from here to here. So that when I try to measure this angle, it knows, the computer knows I'm referring to that line segment. So let's see if this works. All right, so here and here. And it did know what I was talking about. So now I've managed to measure one exterior angle. All right, so here's the deal with the exterior angles. Since I chose to extend this line and use this as my adjacent line, now I'm going to have to work in the same direction. I don't want to double up, so I don't want to extend a lot. So I would not use this as an exterior angle. I've already used this side of the line, and I can't use both sides of a line. I hope that makes sense. So now I'm going to extend another line and find the angle between that line and the next adjacent angle. So again, it's really much easier if you work in order. So I'm switching back to my line tool and I'm extended, extending the next line and so the angle that I'm going to be looking for 
is between this side and the next side, so this angle right here. So I'm going to my angle measure tool and I'm going to hope that I don't have to do that little trick that I just did, uh, but I do. So that's okay. So we're going to undo this. We can make a little line segment here so we can define this angle a little bit more clearly. I need a point first. All right. All right, so now we can make our line segment here to here. And now we can measure that angle counterclockwise. And that's our second exterior angle. Okay, so we can go ahead and do this again. Again, remember we're drawing the line first. We're extending the next line. So from here to here. And again, I'm not giving up hope here. I'm going to try to measure the angle from here to here. Uh, it's being very stubborn, and that's okay because we have our trick. All right, so we need to make a line segment so the angle knows where exactly it should be. And that's on the outside here. All right, now we're ready to measure it counterclockwise and these angles are getting in each other's way so I'm just going to move this one over so we can see it more clearly there we go all right and now we can measure we can um, extend this line or final line just be sure to remember to switch back to line awesome and one more time I'm still going to try to see if it can work this time Nope, for some reason this quadrilateral did not like me. Um, but that's okay, because we know the workaround. So we make the segment here. There we go. And now we can measure this exterior angle. And so now we have all our interior angles and all our exterior angles measured. So the interior angle is not so tricky. The exterior angles, just remember that each extended line, you're only using once. So this extended line we used here. This extended line we used here. This extended line we used here. This one we used here. So we didn't extend it and find exterior angles on both sides. All right, now that you know that, there's some cool stuff you can continue to do. Enjoy, and I'll see you soon.